Bro, what the f Netflix's live action adaptation of One Piece is definitely built different, but that's not to say that this show doesn't have the heart and soul from the original anime. Take Luffy, for example. You can tell he's Luffy, even though he's not the Luffy we all know. Why? Well, it's because he's the literal embodiment of Luffy. What kind of a monster are you? This tragic kind. <laughs> From his mannerisms to the way he speaks and also just how blunt of a character he can be. The man playing Luffy, you, you just can't deny that he's doing an excellent job playing this role. Luffy's main objective throughout the entirety of One Piece, other than obtaining the One Piece itself and becoming the Pirate King, is to earn freedom. And Kobe's introduction aboard Alvita's ship is literally the perfect introduction for Luffy because it counters this belief of freedom. So why don't you just leave? No one leaves Alvita. She'll never let me go. You should never let anyone tell you what you can't do. Kobe is essentially forced to be a part of this degenerate crew of pirates, and he doesn't have any ambition to leave. Even though he wants to be a Marine one day and save people, he can't save himself. And Luffy despises that kind of person. Just the thought of Alvita finding me scares me so bad I want to throw up. You're a moron and a coward. <laughs> I hate people like you. <laughs> Even if the outcome is failure, the acts of trying, doing your best and being yourself, these are all attributes that Luffy respects and teaches us, the audience, to also show a lot of respect for. It's not about if I can. Huh? I decided long ago that I'm gonna be king of the pirates. If I have to die fighting for that, then I die. Compared to Alvita, Luffy doesn't want to boss anybody around. He'd much rather surround himself with people who can think for themselves, make up their own minds, and act on those, because he knows that these attributes, they make those individuals that much stronger. And in this episode, when we're introduced to Zoro, he is taking action, he's making up his own decisions. Luffy sees this, and so he really wants to connect with Roronora Zoro. He wants to have him join his crew, and so he doesn't plead for him to join. Luffy actually runs into him and suggests just, hey, maybe you should join my pirate crew. You don't know anything about me. I know that you protected that little girl from those marines last night. You're a good guy. The character of Luffy is all about bringing out the best in all of us. You see it with Kobe. He's like, you don't even know me. And Luffy's like, dude, we shared a meal together. I got you, you're my bro. And as childish as Luffy is, what honestly impresses me the most is the time that he freed Zoro from his captivity. He also never said again or reiterated the fact that Zoro should join his crew. And he just talked about other things just to get to know Zoro and to learn about the kind of man that he is. I kill your kind for a living. Pirate. Hunter. You keep saying that. And it's at that point that Luffy doesn't see Zoro as just the demon or the pirate hunter. He sees him as the man who is going to inherit the title of the world's greatest swordsman. And who wouldn't want that on their crew? Nami, on the other hand, she isn't as straightforward as Luffy or Zoro. Her intentions aren't as pure either. Anime fans know what's going on. And if you've probably watched the rest of this season, and if you've met Arlong, then you probably also now understand Nami as a character. But in this first episode, she doesn't seem as interesting as, let's say, Kobe or Zoro or Luffy. Hi. Can I buy you a drink? Too tall. Because Zoro, again, he wants to be the world's greatest swordsman. Kobe, he wants to be a marine that saves people. And Luffy wants to be the king of the pirates and achieve freedom. Then there's Nami, the girl who just wants to live. Her character in the first episode is more so just a mystery. From Luffy's perspective, Nami is free, but that's kind of where things get muddied with Nami's character, and it also serves a great foil for Luffy's philosophy on freedom, because Nami, she seems free, but she's absolutely not free. And this challenge against Luffy's philosophy, it's no longer black and white. It adds shades of gray to his philosophy on freedom, and Nami is definitely in that category of gray. She doesn't really trust anyone, and with good reason too. In the anime, I despised Nami at the very beginning. I thought she was annoying. I thought she was abusive toward Luffy and the rest of the crew, but it wasn't later until throughout the show that we found out who Nami was and what she represented, and that changed 
my entire perspective on Nami. I am pleasantly surprised by this first episode. None of the characters annoyed me, their ambitions were very clear, and the plot, the plot just, it got right to the point. I enjoyed it. I thought the adaptation was very good, and this is something that the characters, the cast themselves, mentioned in multiple interviews, that anime adaptations, they're not an easy feat. They're actually very hard to pull off. And the fact that they mentioned this and they talked about how they were just having fun on set and trying their hardest, I personally enjoyed that. And that really adds in the philosophy of One Piece. If you have the ambition to make something happen and you go after it and you work at your hardest, you will make it happen. You will succeed. And that is one core aspect of One Piece that a lot of people love. But overall, this episode was more than a good start. It triumphed my expectations. I think it's making a lot of One Piece fans genuinely happy. Before we met, every choice was made for me. But now I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna be a Marine. I wanna help people that can't help themselves. What did you guys think about this first episode of One Piece? Did you guys enjoy it? And also please no spoilers because we want new people to be introduced to the show. We want them to watch it over time and learn about these characters and love them the way that we do. Thank you so much for watching my video on One Piece. I really do appreciate it. I'm not gonna do individual episodes from now on. I'm gonna watch the entirety of the show and then come back to you guys with a brand new video. Also, I did catch up on the anime just a few weeks ago, if not a month ago, all in time for Gear 5. So if you guys wanna check out my thoughts on the One Piece anime as a whole, be sure to check out the video, maybe somewhere on the screen. If you guys also wanna watch some more movie reviews, TV show discussions, I have a lot of that, so be sure to hit the subscribe button as we do a lot of those. My name is Austin and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.